so I wanted to start with a very, very simple question. I mean, all of you want to be working professional actors, right? I mean, that's why you're here. So I want to ask a very basic question, which is, so what is good acting? Like, what is, have you ever really thought about it? I mean, an actor has to be brave, very, very brave. They have to be willing to show us their dark side as much as their light side. Philip Seymour Hoffman is very brave. Um, I'm trying to think of an actress. Well, like Kristen Wiig. I mean, she's probably the bravest person working out there now. She's not afraid to look really ugly in you know, playing really difficult characters. I mean, I think the character of Bridesmaid, I mean, I, I laughed and cried because I could, <laughs> I, I saw some of myself in her and it kind of <coughs> disgusted me, but it's really <laughs> truthful. It's so funny because acting is not being fake and being somebody else, even though we always think, like, I want to go be an actor because then I can be other people. We're, we're not going to hire you to be other people. We're actually going to hire you to be yourself in that situation. And so you have to be the kind of person that people want to get connected with. If you're repellent, if you're not showing yourself, if you're closed off, if you're nervous, we're go going to not be attracted to you. I mean, bravery and vulnerability, those, those two extremes are pretty much what, you, what you, you really have to have to have good acting. You have to go to dark places. You have to be like Will Ferrell, who's willing to go look like the biggest goofball, something that we would not do unless we were really drunk. You can't be worried about looking goofy or stupid, especially to do comedy. You gotta go with it. So self-knowledge and wanting, wanting to connect are probably the two keys to charisma. That you have to know who you are. And you have to be willing and able to play your light qualities and your dark qualities. You have to accept the darker aspects of yourself and you can play those. If you, if you can accept them and understand them, then you can play them in the darker scenes, in the dramatic scenes. And also, you can use those dark qualities to play in the comedic scenes. If you're going to pray for anything, you're going to, you're going to pray for um, calmness. If you're going to pray for anything. I, don't, I think you would pray for that before money, before fame, <laughs> before talent. You would pray to be calm, because then you can pretty much do everything. A good thing for stage actors to do who are making the transition is to tape yourself every day. Tape yourself and see how you do. See what your mannerisms are. Are you moving your eyes too much? Are you being, you know, are you moving your hands too much? Because all the focus is just in the eyes. Oh, I do want to say about the three, the co-star issue. Um, in my mind as a casting director, there are agents that will disagree with me. But in my mind, co-star roles are not entry-level positions. We have to get actors who are really, really solid. Because a co-star is usually doing the scene with the star of the show. So we have to get somebody as strong as the star, which is not easy. You know, I mean, on Frasier, we had to get, even if you had two lines with Kelsey, I mean, Kelsey's a brilliant actor. We had to have somebody strong with him. Otherwise, he would have blown them off the screen. That's really important for an actor to feel comfortable in their own skin. And if you want to pursue this and you aren't feeling comfortable in your own skin, go take care of that in however way you can. Because if you're not comfortable with who you are, we ain't going to be comfortable. And it's not our job to make you comfortable. And as far as improvisation classes, um, really in the last five years, it's, it's happened that really everybody should take an improv class now, some sort of improv class. It's critical that you can think clearly on your feet. You have to be a balanced person, otherwise you can self-destruct. Okay, once you start making a lot of money, and being around, you know, uh, different kinds of people. You, if, if you're prone for, to self-destruction, you, you're more easily prone to self-destruct. <laughs> so you really have to be aware of that. You should act every day. Whether that means forming a group with your friends and reading plays aloud, whether that means um, getting a video camera and taping yourself every single day doing scenes from movies and TV shows, uh, auditioning for plays whenever you can, doing stand-up, taking improv classes, taking classes all the time. Just you've got to keep doing it every day. It's like uh, a writer, if, if you say, I'm a writer, but you only write like every two weeks or something. I mean, a writer writes every day.
and musician practices scales every day. You have to <coughs> act every day, and there, you can do it even, you know, if you're not. I, and also, you can't use auditions to practice. Auditions are not practice time. If you could only give one piece of advice to a new actor, what would it be? <laughs> be happy. Be happy and the rest will follow, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and eat right. <laughs>